this another day in the Caribbean again lately. I think it's monsoon, monsoon season here. Well, the good thing about the rain is that we're catching lots of drinking water so we don't have to run our water maker. So some people want to know what do we do all day? Well besides the obvious things, we do do other stuff. Let's take a look at what we've been up to lately. Because we've been anchored out in San Anne, it's quite a long dinghy ride to get into all the shops and services. This is when a big dinghy with a 30 horsepower motor comes in handy. Here we're traveling up a little river through the mangroves and then you end up in the industrial area with all sorts of boating shops. There's a sail maker, chandlery, some electronic stores. Sometimes we ride around looking at all the nice yachts, dreaming of which one we're going to buy when we found our sunken treasure. There are lots of conveniently placed dinghy docks. This one is right behind the supermarket, making it a good place to buy some more food for me, because I'm always hungry. Back home after a day of shopping, feeling a bit hungry. Let's see what's happening in the galley. Today I'm making cinnamon scrolls. I'm using four cups of flour which I'm sifting into the bowl. Gary's just heating up the milk and melting it up. One cup of milk and a half a cup of butter. The flour we bought in Trinidad is very lumpy, like it's been wet. Now I'm going to add 3 teaspoons of yeast and a half a cup of sugar. I need two eggs at the first of this one. Always break the eggs into a container because you never know if they're bad or not before adding it to the flour. And then we have to leave the dough to stand for an hour so it can double in size. So it's formed a nice soft ball and we'll leave it in the sun for an hour. While the bread's rising with the dough, I'm just going to make the filling, which is one cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of butter or margarine softened, and two and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. to flour up the counter so we can roll out the dough this is what the dough looks like Are you sure? Break the angle now. Just put on the mm 
rice. You don't have to put raisins in if you don't like them. I like raisins. And then you just roll it up nice and gently. This is what it should look like when you're done. Have to make it a nice little chunk like that and then just flat them onto the it's a grease pan, it doesn't stick. Make sure you cut the dough through. Just fill it up with little ones that on the ends. So we'll leave these for an hour just to rise. I put the scrolls into the oven at 190 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes till they're nice and golden brown. And I'll just mix up the icing while I wait for the scrolls to bake. It's about a cup of icing sugar. A lot of different recipes call for butter with it or um, milk or cream cheese in this instance but I'm not using any of that. I'm just putting a little bit of milk to make it quite a runny um, consistency and I'll add a little bit of caramel sauce just to give it a different flavor. Just got the scrolls out the oven, and now I'm just going to put the icing on. Cinnamon scrolls for tea. We've also been doing some repairs using our new satellite sewing machine. The good thing about this machine is you can hand crank it, meaning we don't need to lose any of our precious battery power. We were also lucky enough to find someone selling a dive compressor. Now we can fill our own tanks and do a lot more diving. This spot is right on the edge of the channel going into the Marin. It's a nice easy dive with a maximum depth of around 20 meters and a nice 29 degree water temperature. We spotted a total of six lionfish during this dive and almost didn't notice this little guy. Shark! Oh, it's just my dive buddy. to our water toys division. This is our new Tango inflatable kayaks. Hello. I don't like you're doing something. This was our first test run to the shops. We should, probably should have chose somewhere a little bit closer. But the mission was a success. We made it back safely and the baguettes were still dry. I did a little bit of work helping out a friend. We had our friend Uli stop by for Christmas Day lunch. And then we made some more cinnamon scrolls and some homemade pizzas. And we went over to our friends V, Cha, and Yugi to celebrate the new year.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give a thumbs up and please don't be afraid to leave a comment. If you can support us, please do so on Patreon and join us next time as we set sail for Bocos del Toro, Panama.